Good evening once again. A DWI suspect is going to be in court tonight, but that is of little consolation to the family whose life has been turned upside down. Police say that the suspect here crashed into a West Seneca home driving in reverse. And the family that lives here has been living in a hotel ever since all of this happened back on the 10th of June. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan is on the story for us tonight. Told by our neighbor and the West Seneca police that a drunk driver hit the front of her house. It was a call the Glinskis from West Seneca never thought they'd receive. According to police, 21-year-old James Brunner from Depew was driving drunk at twice the legal limit on June 10th when he smashed his car into the front of this home on Main Street. Police would not release a photo of Brunner. The Glinskis were out of town when they got the call. We weren't home, thank God. Um, it could have been a lot different. We were told if he went straight through the living room, he would have went straight through the house. The porch helped bring the car to a stop, but not before causing some serious damage. The front doorway is nearly destroyed, cracks run along the front wall, and dozens of bricks and pieces of debris litter the front lawn. A constant reminder of just how far they have left to go. To ruin our lives, some person can go on and live in his life while we have to suffer. You know, be displaced. You know, our lives are on hold. The Glinskis are staying in a hotel while they wait on their insurance to let them know if the home is salvageable. I feel like I watched my family kind of crumble too. So, but we're gonna, we're working hard to put those pieces back together. The Glinskis are still not sure when or if they'll even be able to move back home. As for Brunner, he's being arraigned tonight in West Seneca Town Court for DWI, leaving the scene of an accident and other charges. Reporting tonight in West Seneca, Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News.